I have the one and only Mitchell Bandock. Hello, Mitchy. Hello, Sev. How are you this fine afternoon? Um, I'm I'm good. Yeah. Yes, you hesitated there. No, because like, it's just it's just a natural thing. People say, "Oh, yeah, how are you?" And then all of a sudden, you're just like, "Yeah, good." You yeah, know, good. Sometimes yeah. you just have to think, because I think we're on that level yeah. where you know you genuinely care whether I'm good or not. I actually do. Yeah. Oh, surprise, surprise. Wow. Exactly. Yeah, most people are just like, how are you? Okay, let's finish with that. I yeah. don't actually care, but okay. Yeah. Cool. So what okay. are we discussing today, Seth? Today, we are discussing pop and rock artists. Mm. Any specific that spring into mind as soon as I say pop? Gee, so many. Ah. Uh, I actually can't even think of one, like one main one. Okay, let's start with what's your favorite pop artist? My favorite pop artist. My favorite pop artist would be... I'm going to go with Lord. Lord? Lord. I'm a Lord fan. Yeah. Tell me why. Well, she's just different, like... If you look at everyone else on, well, not everyone else, obviously, but, you know, majority, it's always, as pop has evolved into this, like, flashy, sort of, you know, just flashy yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah. And Lord just stays true to her roots in that, which, which I personally find really, really cool, because, you know, obviously record labels, they have, they have that, uh, that, that evil sock, um, stereotype about them, yeah, yeah. saying that, you know, they change you into who they want you to be. Exactly. Yeah. She was just but, like, I'm going to be me. I don't care what you say. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it, it works for her because, I mean, she's selling. She's just dropped her, exactly. new, her new single, uh, Green Light, yes. it's, which is a bit of a... I, like, I saw the music video and I watched and I heard and listened to it because I subscribed to her YouTube page. So, like, I was literally, like, one of the first okay. thousand people who to listen to the song, which, you know, a thousand is quite a lot. But, you know, in the general, as, in the bigger sphere, exactly. it's, it's still pretty impressive. So just pat, pat myself on the back there, bit of boasting. But anyway... Um, it is a bit more, it's a little bit, it's leaned away a little bit from her more, from her earlier stuff, because yeah, yeah. apparently she wrote the song and that, and Taylor Swift helped her with it, and Taylor Swift is, because they're like oh, okay. quite good friends, and obviously Taylor Swift is, you know, kind of flashy, and yes, you know, yeah. she does the whole Taylor Swift thing, and she's got her yes. own, her own little world. world that, yeah, she controls or whatever. So yeah, so that is a bit more of a step away from what Lord usually does, the minimalistic stuff, it's more... There's more complexity into the song itself now, and the ly- not so much in the lyrical aspect. Whereas in her earlier songs, like lyrically, yes. they were they were quite strong. Yes. Whereas this one, it's kind of like a. If you listen to the radio now, it's more. It's not. It's, there's nothing really lyrically strong. It's like sort of a a loop yes. kind of thing with the lyrics and that. So they'll have like a little bit of a verse and then the chorus over this like very upbeat, dancey kind of thing. Yeah. And that's what a new song is. So I'm worried about her. In the terms of, I hope she doesn't fall completely under Taylor Swift's influence or that little that's spell that true. she's able to put over people. Yeah. So that's so yeah. So Lord must stay Lord. Taylor Swift must stay stay Taylor Swift, and you know their worlds just mustn't coexist. Exactly. Okay. But that's usually what happens. Whoever you hang around with, it's yeah, who you yeah. become. Yeah. No. True. True. But yeah. No. I just I fell in love with Lord because of her minimalistic style and that and that's sort of the style I want to yeah. go for myself. So, yeah. Oh, do it then. Okay. Now next we go to rock. Rock. It can either be a band or yeah. single artist. Band, single artist. Um. Okay. Let's first start with band. Favorite rock band. Favorite rock band. This is a hard one. It is a hard one because you know you have all your greats from the from the nineteen seven or well, nineteen sixties actually okay, all yeah, going no. all the way through. Let's go like maybe latest eighties. Latest eighties. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna. It's a little bit earlier than the 80s, but I'm gonna say Creedence Clearwater Revival. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, that is the band. Yeah. What's your favorite song? There's this one specifically. I actually wanted to play it the other day. I forgot what it is now because I'm terrible with names. But yeah. Okay, no problem. Um, why? Tell me why they're your favorite band. 
Well, I don't really actually know too much about them and I haven't actually researched them, but you know, everyone, everyone who I talk, who I talk to about them, there's always such a high, high regard for them and such a very high level of respect for them. So even, even though like, um, I wouldn't call myself a diehard fan of theirs, like I just really enjoy their music and the stuff that they made, yeah. but you know, if you actually judge them just specifically on their the waves that they made within the industry you you have to regard you have to respect them you have to regard them as you know very high quality and they did make it onto the list of um, rolling stones top 100 yes. bands so you know that in itself is an absolute achievement so even if you're not really familiar with them you still have to regard them as they still have to be one of your favorites exactly of course even as old as they are they still make good music yeah no it's 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 timeless the music exactly. it's timeless and that's because we have to have <laughs> give me a minute right so at the beginning of this year okay. we got two textbooks which explains two textbooks which kind of explain and guide you in the ways and techniques of creating a hit song and actually writing music yeah. and what what i found common in all of them and what echoes through every one of these books or articles that I've ever read is that it has to be timeless. Like yeah. if you look, if you're, if you, if I was, list, if I was to listen to it now being 20 yeah. and then I listen to it when I'm 80 or whatever, an old man, yeah. I would still enjoy it. Then it's timeless. Exactly. And then you give it to the new generation. They still like it. Then it's timeless. Then exactly. it is a hit and it is regarded as legend legendary status it will always be though they are legends yeah so i think that's kind of the mark we all sort of aim for exactly okay next single artist single rock artist yes hmm single rock artists they usually come from like bands and stuff so finding a single yeah um, it's gonna be hard if if another band comes to mind you can tell me i think we'll speak about that The Doors. The Doors. The yes. Doors. Okay. And they may and they and what and what I like about them mostly is that they they open, you know, they, they are all for the music throughout their career and part. They didn't get caught up in the whole like, no, this is us, it's just us and yeah. you know, no one else. Because in the early two thousands, um, I don't know if you you look like a girl who played this game, but at the same time I kind of doubt it. But you've probably heard of it. Need for Speed Underground 2. I love that game. Yeah. I had it on PS2 even. Yeah. So Need for Speed Underground 2. There was a, their theme, one of their theme songs was uh, Snoop Dogg featuring The Doors. Yes. Yeah. yes. Um, Killer, Killer on the Road. Right, yes. No, Riders on the Storm. Sorry. Oh, yes. Riders, Riders on, on the, the Storm. storm yes. yes. So even though they, they, they had their time, they were still willing to, know, you know, identify and say you know what this is a re this could be a really good song this has real potential and i mean even then again it's a timeless i can i, I mentioned exactly. it to you now and it brings back so so much nostalgia so much so many memories and you know just amazing yeah just amazingness i see well i mean seriously even in games that song was still there yeah even nowadays in all these new games, they're bringing out all these older songs. Mm. And it's so nice because mm -hmm. even the kids of nowadays, they will even listen to yeah, old songs. They have an appreciation for it, yes. Exactly. Okay, let's go on one more thing. Mm -hmm. Pop band. Pop band. <sighs> pop band. We, also, we haven't actually had a pop band, like an we iconic pop band. No. Like there's like... Like in the early in yeah you know, the 90s and the early 2000s, you had uh, Backstreet Boys. Yeah. You NSYNC. had In Sync. Oh my word! There's so you had many. the Spice Girls. There were so many pop bands. Like yes. all your all your boy bands and girl bands and I don't know what they called the girl bands though. TRL. Oh, something. The yeah. Ugly Hearts. They have. Yeah, something uh, like Fifth that. Harmony. Yeah. All of these new girl bands now. Yeah, like they have all these new ones, but again, it's it's literally just them. They stand alone. You had yeah. uh, like One Direction. They yeah, they they were alone. Whereas you know Black uh, Backstreet Backstreet Boys, they coincided with In Sync for a while. Yes. Then there was like a few other groups which they they coexisted with. Same with Black Eyed Peas though. Yeah, 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 them as well. Whereas like with with One Direction, they 
it was like just them and then exactly their prop their biggest competitor in that specific market you know marketing to the young girls and and all of that was probably justin bieber of course can they, only be. those were probably the their biggest competitions and again that's your single artist versus the whole band so so yeah i don't know so as of as of like modern modern days i wouldn't really say because obviously i didn't i appreciate one direction but they're not there for you they're not there for me no yeah no. What would you say about Coldplay? Yeah, Coldplay, yeah, they're pretty good. But it, it's and it's actually something I've been hearing around uh, campus quite often as well as of late. Um, is that everyone is hoping that they go back to their 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 roots, like uh, Viva La Vida, oh, uh, Speed of Sound, and you know that you know that stuff. This that now for some reason and. That people are they they don't they they still like them and all the stuff that they all the new stuff that they're doing now their latest album and whatever it's still good and market and you know according to statistics and and the profits and their tours and whatever they are a success this album yeah. is a success, however people are not reacting as wildly as as amazingly yeah. as they did with their earlier stuff so. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's I suppose it's just that question of do you stay true to yourself? Do you move to the time? Do you move with the times in yeah. order to stay relevant and still be on the tip of people's tongues and lips? Yeah. Or you know, do you go out with a bang, have one final tour, and then call it and yeah. just go down and end off with your legendary status instead of people saying yeah, but they were better when they yeah, were young. Just having that yeah kind of thing. Uh, I don't actually know. Um, some of their new songs are okay, mm. but obviously everyone still prefers their old stuff. Because mm. also you mm. get new producers, you get new Yeah, yeah, you go through, through a whole bunch of people and exactly. then you have to reconnect and, exactly. you Exactly, know. find your sound again. Yeah. Whereas some other artists like Bon Jovi mm. have gone through their whole phase, but it all sounded the same. It sounded like them. It mm. was just mm. them. It worked. Mm. So, Yeah. So yeah, that's a that's a philosophical question deep for you guys. Will you do you stay true to yourself or do you move with the times in order to keep relevance? Exactly. Do you start a new trend or do you follow the trend? Mm. Question mark. Exactly. And with that, we shall leave you with your thoughts. Yes, we would actually like to see them, so please comment. Mm. Thank you. Cool. TDF. <laughs> Thank you.